The streets are full of anonymous heroes who carry with them challenging life stories and yet can give the best of themselves for others, all to contribute a grain of sand and make this world a better place. And this is precisely the story of Sophia, a woman who faced the most demanding tests in life that a human can live, but she had the inner strength to move forward with a smile and with a willingness to help those who needed it most. Sophia grew up in a complicated home. Poverty was commonplace and job opportunities for her parents were scarce. As if that were not enough, her father was an alcoholic who spent his little money on what was available for domestic expenses. All this made little Sophia suffer in the loneliness of her childhood and long for a different future for her and her mother. But unfortunately, life had other plans. Also, if you have not done so already, please subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell to get inspired by these real-life stories every day. Now, back to the story. One night, the father came to the house very drunk and tired of the poverty that prevailed in the house, decided that his wife should prostitute herself to earn the money that would finance his alcohol consumption. It was something unfair and degrading, but the woman was imprisoned to the submission of her husband and ended up agreeing to the black intentions of him. She assumed that if she refused, the man would snatch up her little Sophia. The next 10 years passed under this macabre family rule. The mother had to take that difficult job just to deliver the money to her husband, who spent almost everything on alcohol and left very little for the family's food. And in the middle of all this, little Sophia suffered from this horrible dynamic. But one morning, everything changed when she woke up. The father of the girl didn't find his wife by his side. The night before, the woman had not returned from work, but had left forever leaving a letter in which she explained that she could not stand it anymore and asking forgiveness to her daughter for not taking her. Sophia was already 16 years old and was a very intelligent young woman, so she realized immediately that if she did not also escape from the house, her father would do the same to her. That same night, she took advantage of the fact that the father was so drunk that he couldn't move that she escaped from the house. She didn't have a single penny in her pocket, but carried a wealth more significant than we could all envy. Faith in herself and the conviction that no matter what happened, she would never give up. The first years were not so easy, but Sophia was finally able to find her place doing cleaning in family homes, where they gave her food, let her sleep, and sometimes even paid her some money. She cooked, washed the dishes, cleaned the bathrooms, took care of the children, she took care of the houses and everything that anyone would request from her. When she turned 30, Sophia had a few savings, but during all that time she hadn't had a single partner. Without intending it and without being aware of it, her experience as a child had traumatized her, and the mere idea of living with someone else who could mistreat her or bring a child into the world to suffer tormented her. So the years went by and Sophia continued her life totally alone, doing what she knew how to do, cleaning in family homes, but without sharing her feelings with anyone else. The problem of this way of life was that Sophia was getting older every day, without having a pension which she could dispose of when her tired body could no longer work. And indeed, she became an old woman and continued to work. Her savings were not enough to survive and although she enjoyed the affection of those people with whom she always worked, it was very evident that she'd need a break because she would be unable to perform like she did in her younger years. It was around this time that Sophia adopted a street child. Anyone would have branded her crazy for she was entering that age where she needed attention instead of taking on the responsibility of raising a little one. But the old lady just couldn't stand seeing this hungry little boy on the street with a toy guitar in his hands and decided to carry him back home. She bathed him, she gave him food and gave him a roof, and Sophia's kindness was so great that she spent part of her savings from her whole life providing a new quality guitar to the little boy who was only 8 years old. What Sophia didn't know was that this little one had a natural talent for music and that his relationship with that instrument would be much more than a game. Since that day, every time she went out to work at one of the houses, the little one went out shortly to play in the streets for some coins. The objective of the little one was none other than to save a little money so that it was enough to give a gift to the old woman, which he considered his grandmother. But what happened then was incredible. The child's talent and his image captivated everyone who saw him play at that time, and they paid for each of his songs with bills of all denominations. In less than a month, the child had more money than his grandmother earned in a year. So he thought of telling her to stop working because from now on, he would take care of the expenses. But Sophia's kindness was so great that she didn't accept that, because she wished that in the following year the child would begin to study at school, so he could have studies when she's not there to take care of him. But then the blessings that for decades had been kept for Sophia finally came into her life. 
A philanthropist knew of the experience of the little one thanks to a video recorded by those who saw him that went viral on social media. The millionaire immediately asked to find the little one and after finding him, moved to the house to talk to Sophia and find out her story. The man hired a full-time nurse to take care of Sophia, and since then she hadn't had to return to work to take care of all the expenses. Because for the little one, the millionaire promised to finance his musical career, but he promised to do it in a correct way, attending school and being a good boy. Sophia thought that everything was a dream. She was so used to suffering that she didn't believe that it was possible one day life would smile at them. She assumed that the normal thing was to work all her life until she died, so that night the first thing she did as soon as she was alone in her room was put her hands together alone in a prayer to heaven, thanking for the favors she received. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider sharing it with someone who may find it interesting. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.